On to the last colonies to be moved into the shed. These aren't mine. These are the research colonies that our association used to trial this RNA mite treatment product. This is a pasture that we manage. Nice big open space. I think they have about 125 colonies out here. And they won't tell me a damn thing about this. They keep me as far away from any of the information on this project as possible. Go figure. But one thing I do know that colonies are alive and well, except the trial, the control colonies. They, I was told they went back around to give them another oxalic acid mite treatment just to salvage things. So I'm not exactly sure what that means. But after the trial was completed, I think it was October 6th, they took their last sample and assessments. Then they started with uh, the mop-up round. So they hit them twice with oxalic acid within, I think it was 10 days. And then they come around the third time just before it snowed here and targeted specific colonies within the control group. Nevertheless, the information has been compiled and I'll just wait patiently for the data, just like everyone else. Hopefully we can see some efficacy from this RNA treatment. It'd sure be nice to have another option in our tool belt. This is the main purpose. Well, this is one of the reasons why I become a director in the association and why I pushed to have a tech transfer program is because of stuff like this. You know, as a beekeeper, I just felt so out of control and nowhere to pour all my energy and be able, and be able to, you know, look into options or trial products or just bring new things into the industry, into my own operation. And by, with my involvement with the association and the creation of this check transfer program, which is now 100% funded by our government, which is so nice. Now we have the program running we have all the operation costs taken care of, and now we can exclusively focus on projects like this that actually mean a damn of a difference to beekeepers. On the ground applied trial for beekeepers to you know, dig our teeth into. And it's just an awesome place for me to pour all this useful energy. At any rate, I'm just kind of taking in the moment a little bit right now. This is the end. 120 colonies to be picked up right now. Brought in, stacked, closed the door. And that's it. That is it for my beekeeping year. Oh, it's been a hard slog. how much I just love working in the snow. One of the things that I don't like about moving in the snow is this damn ice on the pallets. Yesterday it wasn't as bad because uh, the snow was a little bit more tacky, a little more wet. So in a sense, actually, when I set the colonies down, the pallets almost melted the snow between, so I didn't have as much slipping until later on yesterday evening I started getting some sliding. So I'm really having to watch that I don't get a lot of shifting because of the ice on the pallets. But I'm just gonna take it slow. I'm only, this pasture's only one, two, three, four, five miles away from home. So once I get this loaded up, it's gonna be a long, slow drive home as I warm the heck up. So cold.